I'm thirsty. I think I want to make a drink. Wait a second. What's this? Crushed? Cube. I want cube dice. What the heck? So in this video, we're going to be working on a Frigidaire side-by-side -side refrigerator. Model number FRS6HR45KS. And as you can see, when we try to dispense cube dice, we get crushed dice. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. So this has been a problem for a while, but now, you know, it's been kind of intermittent on and off. It'll make crushed dice, cube dice, kind of had a mind of it. So now it, for a while, it's only been making crushed dice. So now it's a problem. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Let's take this ice container out. This pulls out. I have no idea what's going on here. So we'll hopefully get to the bottom of it. Whoops. Okay. I guess I should have cleaned the freezer before I showed it to you guys. So in the back here, There's this uh, arm that I think moves up and down, and that thing is frozen solid. That's probably our problem, because I believe that's what's responsible for um, switching between crushed and cube dice. It's just... Oh wait, that's no, not frozen, never mind. I wonder if it works. So let's, let's give it a test. Make the thing think that there's, the door is closed. Let's press some buttons here. Maybe that is dead. So it seems to work. You see it moving up and down, right? Actually, it's not moving up and down now. Interesting. So I emptied out the ice tray and I put the ice in uh, containers in the fridge just for now. So that old solenoid thing moves this lever here. Seems to move fairly easily. This controls whether or not you get cubed or crushed ice. So I'm not sure what might be going on here. You can see when you actuate this lever, it opens a door over there. And that's all moving freely. So now I'm back to this plunger in the freezer. So this, I mean, I can move it with my finger, but it doesn't always fall back down. Like there it's stuck. I wonder if it's supposed to fall back down with gravity. So let's give that a test. I'm going to hit the... Now the fridge, freezer thinks it's closed. The door is closed. But now it's not falling back down. And that's in cubed ice mode. So I think that's going to be our problem because that thing... See, that's crushed ice mode. So let's do... Let's do cubed. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it moves with my hand, but it's not really moving, you know, it's not returning by itself. Maybe it shouldn't, I don't know. Okay, I'm officially mystified, because now I can see this mechanism working perfectly. So I'm gonna turn the light off. Hopefully you guys can still see. You can see the mechanism in the back actuating that rod and the door on the ice maker, uh, the trap door here is opening properly every single time. How annoying. So I wonder if this is like maybe, I don't know, maybe something was frozen in position, just having it sit down on the counter and defrosting solved the problem. I got the ice maker bin on the bench here upside down. Dried it out, washed it out, and dried it out really well, just so we don't have any water from the washing process that freezes. I'm going to put a little bit of a little bit of oil on some of these points here. I don't know if it's going to help, but it makes a bit of a squeak right now. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm going to put some under here too. It 
Don't know if this is going to help, but it's less squeaky. And I think we're okay using this oil for an ice bin because this rod has never really contact the ice. So I'm not worried about you know contact with food with a you know a lubricant. In the interest of being thorough, I think I am going to take this ice maker assembly out and just kind of take a look at it to make sure there's no you know, big blocks of ice or anything back there. Um, again, just in the interest of being thorough. Looks like it clips in, but there's two nuts down below. Back there and back there, so I'm going to take those out. And by nuts, I meant sheet metal screws. All right, so now it looks like it will lift out. And to remove it, you have to unplug this wiring harness here. And it looks like another harness right here, and they just clip in place. Here's the business end of the ice maker. So we have our motor here that rotates that, uh, I guess that thing, that, the ice auger. It sounds kind of kludgy. And here is our solenoid mechanism that uh, is responsible for changing the ice selector. So I'm going to let this sit on the counter for a while and just kind of thaw out because um, there is some ice on there. That might be part of our problem. Still thawing out, but I'm going to put a little bit of lube on the solenoid here too. And also where that thing pivots. Again, I have no idea if this is going to help, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. And it does move much more freely now. It doesn't get stuck anywhere and returns perfectly. Okay, everything's come up to room temperature. I'm happy with how everything moves. There's no binding of any kind. I straightened out the solenoid actually. It was a little crooked, but it was easy to fix. Just loosen two screws in the back and just rotate it slightly. So now I'm gonna reassemble and um, I guess we'll put the ice tray back in and see how it does. Got everything reinstalled. That wiring harness up here was a bit of a pain, but I got it. Let's see how well that solenoid moves now. Returns every single time. Look at that. Put the ice back in the ice bin. Let's see how she does. So we're on cubed ice mode. Wow, look at that. We're getting cubed ice. Try crushed. Crushed ice. Back to cube. Wow, look at that. Zero dollars, guys. So we got the problem fixed. In the end, I don't know if it was an issue with uh, just that stuck solenoid in the back and maybe it was uh, needed some lubrication or if it was just ice and just letting it sit on the counter and thaw out um, solve the problem. I don't really know, but it was pretty easy to fix. Just take everything apart, let it get to room temperature, lube the obvious points that uh, have movement in them and could require some lubrication. And I think you're going to be good to go. This is a pretty easy fix, zero dollar spent. So hope this video helps somebody. If it did, please subscribe, stay safe, and thanks for watching everybody. Take care.